showing him her etchings. Come on, Marty, hurry up. I'm trying to get it focused. I'll make sure you do this time. Ah, there. Lovely. <gasps> Kenneth Crisby. Mrs. Crisby's not going to like this one bit. She's going to take you to the cleaners. He's getting very excited in there. You can see everything. But the question is, Jeff, will it stand up in court? Come on, Marty, take it more seriously, please. Oh, come on, Jeff. All we ever do is divorce cases. When are we going to get something exciting that involves murder, mystery, and helicopters? Helicopters? Well, you know what I mean. Kenneth, enjoy your house while you can, because you won't have it much longer. Wait a minute. He's gone. <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? Mind the camera! Mind the camera! I'll shove the camera right Don't up Don't mess Jackson. with me! I'm a trained I'm killer. sorry, Mr. Crisby, it's a very expensive... Uh, uh, Jeff! You miserable little parasite! I'll murder you! Jeff! You're a dead man. Jimmy! Jimmy! Where have you been? He said he'd only be a few minutes. Get in the driver's seat and start the car. Great night out this is. Jeannie, please just start, start the, the car! car. Do you mind not hitting my fiancé? Fiancé? You can't possibly walk down the aisle with this little turd, let alone bear his children. I won't tell you again. Go home. It's way past your bedtime. You, get in the car and don't ever try to work on a date again. You all right, Jeannie? Listen to me. The bank is here, this alley here is one way. This road here is closed due to roadworks, OK? Now, the first car should arrive at the junction of Spooner Drive and Berman Street at exactly 10.15. The church is approximately three miles away, so the motorcade should... God, you're thorough, Jeff. You must be the most thorough best man in the world. We're wondering, perhaps you might do some diagrams for us for what to do when we get into the hotel room. Oh, can you not take this seriously, please, Marty? No, it's all right, Jeff. Um, we are taking it seriously. Go on. Thank you, Jeannie. As Jeff, I... could I just clarify one thing? When we get to the hotel room, should I go straight for the trousers or kiss him first? Forget it. If you can't take it seriously... I, I think she could, should go for the trousers first. Good, that's it. Right, look, it's you two who are getting married, right? Good client to see you. Thank you, Felia. Thank God for that. We'll carry on with this later. I really don't think you two realise exactly what's involved. I've got to go, actually, Jeff, but thanks for everything. But, Jeannie, there's the photographer... Marty the really appreciates everything you're doing for me, you I'm not doing it for him, I'm doing it for you, Jeannie. See ya. <laughs> Mr. Mister Stylus. Ah, oh, thank you, Felia. Hello, Randall, Jeff Randall. Pleased to meet you. We spoke on the phone. Right, and this is my partner, Marty Hopkirk. Hello. Although I expect I'll be dealing with your case myself, Gordon. Gordon Stylus? Gordon Stylus, the famous artist? Yes. I've got a postcard of one of your paintings in my toilet. That's nice. Yes, I know a lot about art and classical music. I recently bought Classical Moods, and that's a four-album box set. Shut up, Marty. Have a seat, Gordon.
So I should imagine this case involves international art theft or a clever forgery or a mysterious painting of a beautiful woman that contains a clue. I want you to follow my wife. Take over, would you, Jeff, please? Divorce is your speciality. It's not divorce. Something much worse. What do you think of Damien for a name? Third worse. Like what? Actually, no, I haven't. Please, don't smoke. Sorry. I don't want a mutant baby. <laughs> no, who does? She's my inspiration, my, my soul music, my all, my A1, my, my habit, my, my main line. She's, she's more than a... Is that a painting? Yeah, it was just a bare wall out there before. We thought it would cheer the place up a bit, you know? Yeah, I did it myself. It's my design and everything. It's not very good. She's changed. She's, she's, she's shifted shape. She's, she's become distant. She has these violent episodes and... I thought at first that she might try and harm someone else, but lately I've become terrified that she's going to turn it inwards. What made a change, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! I, that's what I want you to find out. I want you to watch her, find out what it is, and stop her from... from... Can I just clarify, are we talking about suicide here? Gordon's having this big party. It's a birthday and he wants us there to mingle. Oh, wait a minute, when is this? This weekend. <laughs> Marty, we're getting married this weekend. Are we? Jeannie, we need the money. The wedding's not until Sunday afternoon and it's been organised right down to the tiniest, tiniest little detail. You could come along. Marty, don't be ridiculous. I can't. Sirst. They do not pay you to hobnob with the guests. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr Drake, but... Um... This is my fiancé, Marty. Marty, Mr. Drake, Mr. Drake, Marty. Uh, we both work all hours, so I never get the chance to talk to him, and he's... Whatever gave you the impression, Miss Hurst, that I was remotely interested in your private life? This is a restaurant, not the Opera Winfrey show. <laughs> I can't believe you've talked me into going to this party. You know me, Jeannie. I have a silver tongue. <laughs> My body made that, but my heart will be loving you, baby. Ooh, our love will survive through the passage of time. Believe me, believe my body made that, but my heart will be loving you, baby. Ooh, our love will survive through the passage of time. Believe me. Will you two shut up, please? Marty, will you drive a bit faster, please? It's, you must be the slowest driver in the world. It's not good to thrash the engine, Jeff. Yeah, but Marty, if we were going any slower, we would be parking. Jeff, you don't know the first thing about driving or cars. Yeah, or, or singing either, Jeff. My love will survive through the Shut up! Of time. Believe Shut up, please! OK, when we get inside, I'll stay close to Annette's stylist, make sure she doesn't try to kill herself. You mingle with the other guests. Hey, what gives you the right to say who does what? Because I'm the better detective. God, it's like being stuck with a couple of kids. He started it. Follow me. 